Hi everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Overwine. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. It's a very it's a very juicy episode, I think. It's a very very juicy episode. Ah, oh, such a juicy episode. I'm your host Ethan Malambo and today I have a very special guest with me. Her name is Zenalo. You know her, you love her. You've seen her in the vlogs mm-hmm. frequently. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I'm I'm excited to get into it. I'm excited okay. to get into it. One of my friends asked me, one of my friends asked me, they were like, do you think this podcast is ruining your chances with men? And I was like, God, I hope so. <laughs> God, God, I hope so. Like, yes and no. I don't think I, unless they're weird, like the first episode, I speak about them directly. But the thing is like, you guys will know about them. They will know who they are. If the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. If the shoe fits. Tie the laces. Yeah. It's okay. about you. If you think it's about you, it's about you. Yes. Today's episode, it's somewhat of a survival guide to UCT men. Or at least how we didn't survive UCT men. Um, <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Something along those lines. And I'm very excited to get into it. Love on campus vibes. UCT res vibes. We're going to get into all of that. But I just first want to address, like, the differences in dating at UCT. I said, I feel for, like, the gay scene, everything is so fast. It's so, fast. so fast. Like, That's true. within six months, you, you will have met up. You would have become official. You would have dating, known the parents. Yeah. Literally, within the six months, you've been dating for a year. And then, yeah, even three months, two months, even one month. Things happen, man. Things happen. And I said, I feel like for... So is a straight woman and I feel like for the straight community it's like it's different. I feel like it's start and stop. I say I feel like it's start and stop because like <laughs> <laughs> because like it's it's I don't I think for us usually we kind of know the vibe before we get into anything. Oh, is that so? If you know you're going to be sneaky links to someone, there's no questions about it. It's sneaky linking. But maybe, you know, you find out during the process. (laughs) You'll find out within the first three months of those six months, you'll find out what you are. You will find out what you are. I don't know. Why do you think that is, though? That you guys, relationship three months in, not even. Not even three months in. Meeting someone in a week. You guys are dating next week. Not even dating next week. But, like, I don't know. Like, I... I think everyone just should have been dating and kissing in high school. I think so. I think if we had that experience, we would, we would be acting right now. We would be acting right. I remember there was a time I told <laughs> I remember there was a time last year I told you on the jammy about, like, I was talking to and we were, like, chatting, chatting. And like, <laughs> Which guy? Which guy? <laughs> like, I always said, like, the first night, he was like, I love you. <laughs> Oh. And you were like, no, Ethan. Like, I was like, shouldn't I have said it back? Because like, what do you that do if someone says that your situation really shaped my mentality of how <laughs> people move, man? People move crazy up in this place. Like, and I remember you said like, no, didn't you have that in high school? If this was me, I would have been like, okay, um, I think we should, we should, we should relax. We should slow yeah. down. You've never had like a. You told him back. I mean. Ah! <laughs> You liked him. I really, I really, really liked him. I shouldn't him. have said that. I shouldn't have said that. That's insane. I don't think I've ever told a guy I love him and actually meant it. I lied to you. Wave. <laughs> Wave. I lied to you. But I before guess. we get into it, I want to get into our wine today. Our wine of the day. Day drinking. Our wine of the evening, because it's evening right now. And we are not day drinking Shin and Blanc it's the Millstream South African Shin and Blanc celebrating life's simple pleasures Millstream wines named after artisanal oh girl um it's 2023 I think it was like 55 bucks it was like 55 bucks oh and how much was the last one okay the last one in episode one was I think 50 bucks so we are leveling up. We're leveling up. We're leveling, We're leveling up. up. Listen, 
I think the next episode one is like 70 bucks. It's the... The next bottle of wine is very special, actually. Yeah, (laughs) it's very special. You'll find out soon. You'll find out soon. Um, Yeah, let's pop bottles. smells i want to say like pears almost like have you seen those brown pears those wild pears like apples mm, like a like you know when you just bite into a green apple and you like you can just smell it it's like that she's she's cold all my wine is chilled <laughs> let's take a sip it's good i thought it was gonna be strong let me take another sip i thought it was gonna be strong I like it. It's I, good. I thought it was going to be strong, strong. Shannon is like, it just goes down like juice, hey? Like, it uh, like, like, and it makes you feel. It makes you sweat. It makes you hot. It makes you lose your breath. Do not copyright this, Tyler. I'm so serious. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, man. I like Shannon Blanc. I like Shannon Blanc because it gets you in the mood. I like Shannon Blanc because it makes, it turns you into someone else, man, but in a good way. Like, yeah, yeah, Shannon Blanc, it will throw you off your rails. I'm so serious. I want to get a good few steps in before I start this. It's, it's fun. It's fun. I think she finish this whole glass right now. Let me not. Basically, we've had our fair share of UCT men. Our experiences, <laughs> chatting, those chats where you just never meet up, even chats where you meet up where you go out on dates. Yeah, we've we've had our experiences and. We can say that we've had our fair share of UCT men, like, from the reses, I can say, like, I've talked to a few people from the reses, you know, I can, I can, I can vouch. Ooh. Vouch means good way. I can't vouch for them. Vouch derogatory, brackets derogatory for them. But I think it's not impossible to be with some, with at least one person from each res, like, it's not impossible. I came here thinking that it was going to be so difficult. It's not difficult to because really when you're on campus it's like you're you people are horny up in this place like people in first year were so crazy it was so insane oh first year and do you know where they were from actually said johannesburg (laughs) it's just like a loud beep (laughs) they were from smarts yeah now i'm gonna bleep that (laughs) she's warming me up she's warming me up first one i have is leo now, from the very few Leo men that I've talked to, I feel like Leo men, they like, you will be talking to them, talking to them. But eventually, the the spark with Leo men don't last. Leo Leo Hall, the res next to Tugwell, the spark never lasts. And I feel like you, as we will know that, but I just feel like they don't know that. Because like, I feel like Leo men are always trying to start it up again. Like I feel like Leo men, it will happen. It will be done. You guys can talk even. It will be done. You, as me, myself, I will move on. But then I feel like Leo men, they just, like, they'll still find a way to, like, get back into your, like, get somehow, some way. If you know, you know, they'll they'll, they'll find, you know, try to get your know. attention. Like, I just think that's it with Leo men. Also, Leo, the building itself, like, if, if you've, if, if you're speaking, if you're speaking to a Leo man or you're dating a Leo man, you won't be in Leo. I can say that. Stand up. Yeah. You stand up. What do you think from your experiences? I've had one experience with the Leo man. I would probably rate it like a three out of ten. Only because it was such a weird experience. Like what she's saying now, like people from Leo are just a bit on and off, man. Like they're weird. They wanna fuck, essentially. They just wanna fuck. And not that I'm generalizing, but from the experiences that we've had, mm-hmm. the fact that they are so similar. Yeah, men. No, I've had one experience, and then I've had a second person who tried to look like you know. Next is Copano, Copano, Copano. Do you know what? Do you know what happened once? I think I don't know if it was a YouTube video or something like that that I was filming, but I asked someone like, "Where do you think the hottest men in UCT are?" And they said Copano, and I think Copano goes number two. I think Copano hottest men. Just because. There's this one guy that I follow, and I think he's from Copano. But you can't base it based off one guy. I'm basing it off that man. Listen, mm. that is the hill. That is the Who's hill. first? 
Smuts. Kupano is second of the Smuts. I think so. This guy from Kopano that I know, not my ex that everyone knows I dated, not my ex, Ooh. but this guy, I have a, mm, this guy from Kopano, I find him so attractive. I find him so, so attractive. I'm, I think he's in a Kopano. I've seen a picture of him with a Kopano hoodie, so I'm basing it off of that, but he needs to know who he is, actually. Our hair is similar, and that's all I'm going to say, and if he happens to be watching right now, please hit my line. If it's not your last year, please hit my line. Why did she hit his line? I can't do that. Okay. I can't do that. I can't Why do that. I can't. I can't. I feel like... Oh, and he's such a... He's the hill. He's the hill. Listen, come home. The kids miss you. Oh. I've never been with someone from Kopano before. Um, I know of Kopano guys that have just ruined my image on Kopano men. And also... Do you know the stereotype around Kopano, dude? Literally, when I got to first year, my they first make sure day, they make sure you know. My first day in Cape Town, I remember moving into my room. First day in Cape Town, this girl was like, "Listen, let me give you a breakdown. I'll give you a breakdown. Don't ever go for a Kopano man ever." And she told me the story of her and what happened with her and a Kopano nigga, and I was just like, "Never again." Yeah. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Never. Kopano, I feel like. Yeah, Kopano's Kopano, that's it. But majority, isn't majority, well, what, I, from what I've noticed, majority of like queer communities in Kopano. Majority of queer community is in Kopano. Yeah, I've never and like, Leo, man. they are nice. I'm going to say like, the ones I've met, or the ones I've spoken to in a romantic sense, they are really nice. Like, some I still talk to, mm-hmm. like not talk to, but like, I'll reply to your story or something like yeah. that. But that's it. That's it. That's, that's it. But yeah, majority of the queer Majority of the queer community. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> Majority of the queer community is in Kopano. Next, Woolsack. Woolsack. Um. Losers. Oh? Losers. A bunch of bums. <laughs> actually. A bunch of actually, bums. Actually. I feel like Woolsack, it's such a discreet race, man. Like, nobody, nobody really knows about it. Nobody, need, like, yeah, but I don't know. I think. If you're with someone from Woolsack, if you're with a man from Woolsack, it's not, like, really something you want known. Am yeah. I wrong? I don't know. I... I've never seen a Woolsack man be claimed. Yeah. I don't know. Woolsack, I think, again, like, people have ruined... Certain people have ruined my image on Woolsack because they're all bums, the ones that I've met. Not all of you people. Clock it. But they're all bums. Ever since they robbed me of my money beach trip from hell it's coming guys i promise you it's coming the they episode took is coming my money from me and i was in first year i was a little 18 year old girl Ugh. what's the next one now let's go all the way to upper campus we were at leo we were at Copano. we were at Woolsack. next smuts 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 I've had my fair share of smuts men. I've dabbled. I've had my fair share. I think I've had... Don't think about it. Don't mm. think about it. <laughs> I've spoken to, I think, maybe like three, four guys from smuts. All of them are terrible. I think with, when it comes to smuts, from the experiences I've had, it starts out good, but then I don't think it ever ends well. It doesn't, doesn't even start off good. Start off good. All mine have started off good. I, I can say that it started off very oh, cute, man. like very cute, I've very had nice. Weird characters. I've had. I'm not going to obviously get into detail, but like an older guy who just couldn't grow up, a church boy who minds me because I said no to sex, which is quite contradicting, and then just a normal oak who just I don't know. Just yeah. Work. Just yeah, <laughs> but you see, it's like it starts out good. I I always say when it's good, it's good, and then just before it crashes, it burns. Like, but just before it crashes and burns, like it's good. Like it's the calm before the storm is smuts. I would say that, but uh, yeah, that's that's smuts man. But I will say the hardest man of on smuts. Listen, I don't know what's going on there. It's hardest man. I think the hardest man of on smuts. I think the hardest men are in obs. Not necessarily clarinets or like whatever, but like genuinely like the hottest men generally are in OBS. And Interesting. Then, I have an opinion about OBS men. Maybe then smuts and then maybe like... We'll save our rankings for the end. We'll save okay. our rankings for the end. Okay. 
Next is Clarinus. Clarinus. <laughs> oh. oh. I feel like Clarinus, there's just because it, it was a mental hospital. I feel like there's some there's there some there. something's not right there. There are patients there. Clarinus men are haunted. <laughs> Literally, I could even sit here if Ethan were to be like, let's make a YouTube video or just ooh, let's make a YouTube video just on Clarinus men. And we're actually name dropping in this video. We would get haunted, actually. Ooh. We wouldn't be able to sleep at night. But I feel like Clarinus men, like, I don't know, like, they are funny. I'm gonna say one thing. I, I can laugh. I can laugh. Yeah, it's funny. Sense. But it's almost like laugh now, cry later, because, yeah, I don't. They're such losers. And weird losers at that. Like, yeah, man. Clarence, Clarence, man. There's something wrong with you people. Truly, there is. There's obviously good people from there. No, I won't lie. There are some good people who have, like, proper personalities there. There's one very, very cute boy from Clarence. People from Clarinus have just shown me time and time again. Actually, let me not say people. Okay? The people that I have personally met from Clarinus, it's like 50-50. They're good, and then they're like rotten potatoes in the bag. Yeah, 50-50. 90-10. 50. 50. Mm. They're haunted, period. They're haunted. They're terrible human beings. Sometimes you meet the good person. Sometimes you meet the ghosts that haunt them. They're it's That's what it is. That's what it is. Fatherless behavior, if you ask me. Lisbeck. Lisbeck. I don't know. I've like spoken to one guy from Lisbeck and like it lasted for like I can't even say I spoke to him. I talked. I talked to him. I had a conversation. Let me say that. Um we just didn't click and we went our separate ways and that's it. I think like yeah, no, Lisbeck men, like I don't think anyone wants to go that side even. Like it's so far. So now look on into Lisbeck, so we'll find out next year. But I think that I think you're gonna get a Lisbeck love story here. I think I you're gonna think be I a race wife. Oh, I think you're gonna become a race wife no, because I'm not into the Brooke scene. I <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not into it much. I think I would have some sort of like situation ship with someone from. I can see it happening. I've never been in a race with like both. It's like a mix, and I think because it's my first time getting into a situation like that. What if my neighbor is a man, and then we have a love story? It's gonna happen. Like you it's gonna happen. Like, and I feel like you'll move in it together. Like. Just because it's so easy. Yeah, I feel like I'd probably spend nights there. Or oh, him by you. Because you'll Mm-mm. be a race wife. You'll cook. I would never Breakfast let a man in sleep bed. in my bed. My bed is my sanctuary. Your bed should be your sanctuary. My bed is my sanctuary. I've never had a man in my bed. It will never happen. Obs men. Or just obs. Obs square. I don't think I've ever spoken to someone from obs square. There was one guy and it was like... I don't know. Like It was like stop and start. Let me say... From obs square? Yeah. Specifically up square. Specifically up square. Oh. It was stop and start. Like, we were speaking, we were speaking, nothing happened. We were speaking, we were speaking, nothing happened. Like, it'll lead up, lead up, nothing happened. It will lead up, lead up, nothing happens. But then, like, yeah, it, it's, yeah, I don't know. That's all. That's all I can say. But obs in general, yeah. obs in general, there's something wrong there. I don't think so. Um, I don't oh. think so. <laughs> obs, man, I don't think they can do it right here. Like, conversations relationships like in every aspect they can't do it right like they just can't do it right i don't know there's there's something off about that town there is something off about that town like yes it's so many attractive men there so many attractive men granted so many attractive men and one day i will tell you guys about a short king from off square One day I will tell you guys about the short king from up square. Trust, I'm I'm putting all this. I'm actually gonna tell you guys, but I just I I can't I can't support Ob's men. I can't. I'm such a big fan of Ob's men, only because one I don't know, man. They just really mature. Everyone that I've um met from Ob's has been so mature. Maybe because they're away from like campus and razors and mm-hmm. ever, and they're just mature and they're just good people, and they're not like bums. They're proper people, like they're proper niggas, like they're good. I love Obsman. If I could date an Obsman, I truly would. In fact, I have a man from Obs. Oh, girl, from Obs. please. Everyone's. We, this is a better podcast, please. Why are we sitting with these big glasses? <laughs> <laughs> I love Obsman. Okay. Forest Hill. I don't know anyone from Forest. I don't, I don't know. Or anyone. that side of like Forest Hill. 
Avenue University house like that. I never met anyone from there. I have. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the one guy from Forest Hill who still has my Vaseline lip therapy and my ring. I want it back. I want it back. Like, I want it back. <laughs> Give back my ring and my Vaseline love therapy. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. And you know what pisses me off the most? I see his friend on campus all the time, but I can't look like a crazy going to like, hey, can I get my things back? Because like, Loki, I think out of spite, I want my things back. But also like... <laughs> when did this happen even? <laughs> when did this happen? Like two weeks ago. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's still fresh. It's still very it's still fresh. very fresh. Um... It also started out very cute. And then I think with that side, like that upside, I think... What happens? Because every time it's starting off cute... And then it's stop! Like, stop, stop! I can at least say that all of my situations have never really started off as a friend. Or like, they've started off... And I've just realized that this one just wants one thing. And I'm not willing to. But it's never started off good. Like, what happens? I think just because I'm delusional. Like, I'm so... <laughs> I'm, I think I'm delusional. And I'm like... I, I'll romanticize it. Actually, I... When I say it starts off good, I mean, like, our first interaction. That's like, good. where we meet. Like, it's good. It's good. And then... You just stop texting. I can say that with, like... Oh, yeah. every Every guy that side of the world. You just stop texting. Like... Even... um, I, I was speaking to a friend the other day. And I was telling them that, like... One thing about me, I don't get attached to people because I have this like, and it's really a toxic mentality of me always looking for the next best thing. And I'm not going to get attached to you if I can see, but oh no, you're not really giving me what I want, whether it's emotionally or whatever. And Loki, that saves, that saves you. It saves you from a lot because if you're always looking for the next best thing, really, if this doesn't work out, Real? you move on, you move on, it helps you. I never thought of it like that. Don't have attachment. Get attachment issues and you'll move on quickly. I like that. (laughs) I like that. I. What do you think about like men that are off campus? Like it doesn't have to be in OBS. It doesn't. Yeah. I love off campus men. I also like off campus men. I love them. I don't know. It's just been. It's always been good. I've gone on dates with people from off campus residents. Same. And it's always been good. Like, I feel like their body tea, super thick, super pretty. They get money. Like, but everyone from off campus has always been... I, don't know. I feel like there's always some weird aspect to them. Like, they'll be normal. But, like, once you see the weird thing or once you hear the weird thing, like, the ick, I'll just never return. Like, after the ick, I'll just never return. Not even, like, weird. But, like, everyone that's been off campus for me has always been, like, sells weed. Or does weed or, or does something. Weed. Like, Okay, like too common. in like a, like, like in a, in like it's just in a weird way, man. Like I said, in that weird aspect, like, <laughs> like not even like I don't know the one maybe not weird, but the other one like every time they're smoking weed, they want you to smoke weed. They and I'm not into it much. And I'm like, am I that bad company? <laughs> Do you need to be on substances to deal with me? Like, damn, take your glasses off or something. Like, come on now. What's your view on weed? Um, Do you think you I'm not opposed to it? to it. I I think, I don't know. Like, weed is on my Would you side. date someone who's a stoner? The word stoner, like, <laughs> when we say stoner, what do we mean? Every day. Every day. Every day. It doesn't, like, they don't have to be sluggish. Obviously, people, I mean, if you are used to it, then you don't, like... You don't, you know, I assume you're, like, not sluggish every single day because, like, I mean, you're used to it. But, like, every single day. I feel like if I was attracted to them, I would have been attracted to them before I found out that they were a stoner. But also, attraction comes with, like, personality traits and traits in general. So, if you find that out, would that, like, weaken the attraction? Would it affect? Would you leave? I think I would just be like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, like. Again, like, oh, you're high again? Again. Like, like, oh? Again. Like, oh. Again. It's it's 12 a.m., like. (laughs) Or, like, they spend all their... Look what we're doing now, actually. We're not doing anything. It's, like, 7 p.m. right now. Real? Yeah. Avoid the daylight. Don't focus on the daylight. It's It's a studio. We're in a studio. (laughs) 
I don't know. I'm not a, the biggest fan on like people who smoke weed like excessively. Friends, one thousand percent. But like, my man, I wouldn't want that. Only because then I feel like the expectation is for you to also sit and smoke with them. I feel like if you're in the company of someone smoking weed, smoking is hot. I'm so sorry. Like, I find it attractive. Not that like. Uh, like smoking uh, the act of the verb smoking maybe it's because i listen to lana del rey but it's, it's kind of it's like oh just because i won't smoke it with them i won't smoke with them but like i'm like oh like but then also have you ever been um with someone who's smoking weed and you're not smoking you're sober and then they like yeah. with a guy specifically it's terrible it's so bad it's like um, you forced to do. Do you know it. what they do? Do you know? What, no, I don't. <laughs> do you know what they do? <laughs> do you know what they do? They like. They like. Uh, and like, what, how was your day? Like, uh, like how was your day? Like, that's how they speak. Do you know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. there's always a hiss. Behind. But also, like, you Loki forced to smoke as well because what are you going to do sitting around with someone who's high and you're sober? You need to be on their level. And the pressure is there with off-campus people. Listen. Mm. You need to act right, like every single person that I've met off campus or that I've lucky been with off campus has smoked weed, and I've I've been forced to do it as well. Oh, I'm a victim. You're a victim. But it's been good weed. It's indoor weed, so oh. if you're mad, it's like I see it, their money, their money up. Like she get money, her body. They are, te- they are very moneyed off campus like as well. I want to finish my class before we get into the next one, and maybe a little bit more. Miss Shenny is not something you should down. Like she's definitely a sip and she's a ship. Sh- <laughs> Don't down Shane and Blanc. Though. She's a sip and talk wine. She's a sip and talk wine. And it's going down nicely still. There he is. It's like a cute buzz. Like it's a cute buzz. It's not too intense. Like like white tea. This time you're drunk. You're full on drunk. But this is like cute. Like it's. Someone told me. Was it you? Someone said that like. Expensive. Okay. Mm. Cheap wine gets you drunk. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's like expensive. And I was like, oh, this was fifty five rand. I'm like, I've. Re- I don't know. Does does, Apple Street House count as expensive? I mean, it's sixty seven rand a glass. Is that expensive? I don't know. No. I, mm. It was nice. It was nice. Three hundred rand a bottle. Is, do you think it's cheap? No. Like in terms of. I wine. think it's like, it's bottle. I think it's. I don't think 300 rand is cheap, but I think like when you're ordering from a restaurant, 300 rand is cheap. Yeah. Like it's the minimum. Now we're going to rank them top three. My ranking is Smuts. Now that I think about it, Smuts, Forest, like that side, that side, Copano. What? And I'm only putting Copano last because that guy that I said that must hit me up if he sees this. He's the only one that's... He's the only fighter. How he's the only Forrest fighter. How is there and Obs is not there? Remember med school, nigga? Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> med school, nigga. Is in Forest. He's that side. Oh. And also... Top three. Obs. Like, is it dresses or off-campus as well? Just your ranking of all the things we've spoken about. Okay, OBS, Off Campus, Smuts. Even though I've had the worst experiences at Smuts, Smuts is third. I don't know, I have... To, my Off Campus experience was also with a med school guy who smoked weed. And I don't know, there's, they are overworked. That's a whole other topic on its own. Med school niggas. Not even going to get into it. Actually. Not even going to get into it. Oh! Season two. <laughs> there, season two, we drop names. Listen... Run this podcast up. Let's get renewed for a second season. I'm I'm excited. They're right. They're they're okay. So you're ranking again. Um, obs, off campus and smuts. Real, real. And then fourth med school. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think deserves redemption? I think redemption in the sense that like I would give this res a second chance. Listen, yeah. I have been dog walked by this res i've been stepped on i put them at my number one even smuts like i feel like i feel like with everything that's happened (laughs) with everything that's happened like for some reason i i always go back i think it's because like 
I'm always in Fuller, and when you go in Fuller oh. and that reception area, it will become hell on earth. Like peak hours, dinner time, yeah. you will, you You'll will, see them. you will see, see them, you will see them, you will see them, you will see them, and you, you, you will be frozen in the turnstile. You won't you know won't. what to do. Yeah, we'll just stop. But smash me, they will always get redemption, shame. And then I, I feel know. like Forest Hill too, like, just because I know now, if this guy messaged me, I would respond within the same minute. So I feel like <laughs> redemption for Forest Hill too. I think redemption for me would be Clarinus. Oh, I, I, don't I think, understand. Yeah, I, understand. I don't think they should be tarnished, man, because of one person who just does not act right. I think if a Clarinus man were to hit me up, I wouldn't be opposed to, I wouldn't be opposed to. It's a long jammy ride. It's an awkward jammy ride. But it's an awkward jammy ride, and I've taken the jammy ride, and <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But I would give redemption to Clarinus only because Loki Clarinus, like it's such like a Loki. It's discreet. I think it's like such it's a also quite chill here. Yeah. Like the most awkward part is getting signed in, but like after that, even the lo- yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> getting signed. <laughs> out <laughs> that too the walk to the jammy like it's that's like those are the most awkward parts getting you, caught getting signed out when people when people see you and they wave at you like oh what are you doing you when they're angry because you're getting signed out oh. <laughs> yeah. zanalo is feeling it i am too i'm hot the shannon has me Dude, hot so shannon has me warm. hot but yeah, kindness for sure. Now, in general, like in general, with like relationships and love on campus, do you think like? I feel like to some extent, it really only works if you keep it private at first. Like, yeah. I feel like it only works if you keep it private at first. Like, and I said, I told myself like, oh, with like the next person I get into something with, I'm not gonna take it seriously. Like, if it's not serious, I'm not gonna take it seriously. Like, I'm gonna post him. Like one week in a cute selfie, maybe I'm gonna post him like like soft launch or not even soft launch. Just, <laughs> this is him. Like <laughs> it might change the next story post. It might stay the same. Like that girl who who you know that hey 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 Riri hey Rocky trend, mm-hmm. and she posted this guy that she was speaking to for literally like three days. Real, on trend, and then he blocked her because he was like, "This is psychotic." <laughs> yeah, that's what it's giving. It's crazy. <laughs> one of my mutuals was like. She's not doing that until 90 days. Like, at least a month. Yeah. Not 90 days. I would start soft launching after a month. I love soft launching. It's so... Uh, and then maybe full face, yeah, 90 days. I want everyone to know I'm always watching. If you're moving in silence, I am watching you. If you're making moves, I know what your moves are. If you're soft launching, I am paying attention to the details. I am... So wait, you don't believe in the three-month rule? For what? The three month rule is very it's like it happens a lot. Like three months after three months things start ending or they continue going. Like that's when you know if something's going to continue, if it's going to end. Three months. People switch up after three months. And it's specifically three months. It's never like a month, two months. No, it's a three month rule. Like you need to wait three months before you do anything. When it lasts that long at all. <laughs> like three months, you need to wait three months before you Everything. Ev- Thing. Before you everything. Before you everything. I mean, I think with this new era I'm going into, maybe. But yeah, I think you can find love on campus. I think if you keep it secret, I think it's the only way. Like, you, you keep it secret. Like, yeah, post it on your close friends, post it on your private story, but keep it secret. Like, doesn't matter if people catch you walking on campus. Deny, deny, deny. Keep it secret. Real chat. Close friends or Finsta? I miss my Finsta. I don't like close friends. I also don't like... It's so like... It's so pseudo. It's such a, a task, man. Like, it's such a green, normal, green, normal. It's such a task. Like I don't like close friends because people on close friends aren't actually close with each other. Mm-hmm. It defeats the purpose. I just feel like close friends is just a place where people post. But I also feel like I've outgrown a Finsta. Like, I also yeah. feel like... Okay. On friends that also we have close friends, so then like oh. it's like. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, on friends that also we have close friends, so it's like, 
why are you adding these people if you don't even trust them like that? Like, yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, but yeah. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not comfortable enough though. Genuinely, to like post crazy things on my Finsta. Like, I'm scared. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm not. Yo, my fin- I was going through it the other day because I was thinking of bringing it back. I think you saw. You saw the story yeah. post. But I was like, I'm thinking of bringing back my Finsta, and I was going through it, and I was so unhinged. Like, I was so unhinged. Like. Why was I doing that beginning of the year? Why? What did you do? <laughs> a lot. You were there. You, oh, you were, were there. posting like... Yeah, I was posting about everything that was happening in my life. But that's... that's I mean, that's what Finsta is. But that's what was cool. happening in my life was crazy. That's what I think. I don't know. I feel like... I won't lie. I'm not too comfortable in my Finsta. Only because there's so many people that like... I'm scared to remove. Because I, I, I feel like I'm obligated to like keep them on my fence because we've known each other for such a long time and it would be like rude to remove them but actually i haven't spoken to these people in, like six months two years even since i got to uni so really i told my friend i think it's such a mature thing if you just like remove follower remove. i'm so scared though low-key i'm so scared like my finster i'm not safe in my fence i don't feel comfortable on my finster purely because those that's people sad Yo, chat. I didn't have one in high school. This is my I first one, one, so I think there's a, there's a intersectionality yeah. Yeah, in it's some just sense. It's different because there's so many people from high school on my Finsta that I don't even speak to, let alone. Let alone. So maybe they need to be removed. Maybe it's time. But you post your man on your Finsta. Like when it comes to relationships, you I will post. I post my man anywhere. But didn't you? I never posted anyone, anyone on my Finsta. You, well, you stopped launch on your Finsta. It depends. I know. I know sometimes. I'm asking people, because you posted a head once. Yes, 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 yes. But that one also. <laughs> yeah, that one was more maybe because I, I mean obviously I'm not taking that whole thing seriously. Let me tell you guys what I saw. <laughs> so Nalo posted a very out of the blue, one story, no follow ups, one story, the back of a man's head. He was busy working. She posted it, a little bit of the side profile actually. <laughs> she was smart. She was. It was calculated. She was smart with it. So I'm like. I think on my Finsta I would post the guy. Yeah, because really anything goes, but... On yeah. your Finsta. On your Finsta. Yeah. I still wouldn't post my nigga on my Finsta, purely because I'm not safe on that app. Y'all are watchers. Watchers are not good people. Real. Real. <laughs> and because UCT is UCT and everyone... Oh. We're wrapping up now. It's fine. Because UCT is UCT and everyone knows each other... How would you feel like... I feel like we're all friends. We're all friendly with each other. Yeah. But now those people you're friendly with, like... Like, you see, like, you wave, you hi, you small talk, yeah. They're dating someone. And they broke up a while back. And you start talking to that person. That person starts talking to you. They start replying more. They start hearting stories. Like, they start, oh, I love this post. Or, like, oh, heart, eyes, what, what. Would you be like, mm, but I like I kind of know this person. I don't want it to be weird. Would you talk to the guy who's like hearting, replying, and all those things? Yeah, I would. I would only because UCT, like how you said, like it's so small. You'd be restricting yourself if you don't speak to them. And I'm trying to find true love. I am trying to get engaged to a man that I met in university. Like even my mom said that she would rather me meet someone in university. And that, if my mom is saying that, and I'm, I'm not able to do... Really, what's the reason of me not being able to find a man right now? Let's not think about it while we're drunk. Um, but I would. I would. I remember, I, I remember they said this, they, as in Zanalo and one of my other friends said that they are expecting... <laughs> <laughs> they're expecting to find their husbands yes. here at, at you. Yep. At you. The same UCT we were just clouding now and all the yeah. reasons. I have hope. I have hope in humanity. I have hope that... And really, guys... You have hope you in see, humanities? Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. If you guys see me walking with the second year next year, if you guys see me walking with someone younger than me next year, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions because the guys in our year are too comfortable. Okay? I'd only go for maybe a year older or a year younger. Do you think the love of your life is in humanities? No. Or if you have to, like, give, like, one or two faculties where you think the love of your life is, where do you think they are in? Finance. Commerce. Commerce, yeah, like, finance. Or 
I'm so scared to say architecture because the people there are so. I was gonna say commerce and EBE. The people there are so. <laughs> EBE may not fun though, yeah, aren't I they? I would those two. I or would science. say that. Or science. Uh, I want money when I'm older. <laughs> Listen. Oh. Yeah. I also <laughs> think in EBE and commerce, I I agree with you. EBE as in like you forgetting about all the stereotypes that EBE is linked to or I try not to think about it but I just know the love of my I life is an EBE I personally been a victim of an EBE person so I don't know why I'm adding EBE onto this list but isn't it second chances or a thing redemption redemption to EBE and redemption to commerce always always uh. what about health medicine I feel like those are people you play around with really i don't th- i think they play around with you though they play around with you because first of all they're finishing their degree when they're 30 when they're 30 they are people they're and not students they're people, not residents they are pe- people like people in medicine want to low-key get married or settle down with other people who are in medicine low-key because like medicine people they, they will <laughs> <laughs> they won't take you seriously at all here like mm. they're like okay this person speed bump stop sign around with you they trying to they yeah so i would say i'm gonna keep it to eb and commerce real real eb commerce but no I humanities I don't, want to, I don't want a humanities man i don't want a humanities man i don't want a man who's studying politics i don't want a, i want a man who's into numbers there is one humanities man and he knows exactly who he is uh, there's also one humanities man that I like. He have a crush on. He knows exactly. But what guys, about Comsai? Wait, Comsai, uh, Comsai. Mm. Yeah, no, actually, real. There's one humanities man. He probably doesn't know. He doesn't give a fuck actually. Mm. But there's one humanities man. Um, yeah, but I will say that like, from second year, a new era is needed. Like, wow, like this. This was low-key triggering. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was low-key triggering. It Overall, was... how was second year for you? Like <laughs> two. Two out of ten. Like, like a one out of ten. One. Just because, like, it's been fun. I've really, like, I was... I feel like frontal lobe developed this year. The whole 19 turning 20, like, it was, yeah. it was a lot. Yo. I feel like the minute... I turned 20. Not even then, actually. I and I told Zanalo, I told Zanalo, the moment you turn 20, like, a, a switch flips, like... Like, I feel like the universe knew, man. Like, when I started turning 20, things got so real. Like, I was living adult issues. Like, you were living... That you're... first year, when you are 19 for the first time in first year, some of the best times. 18, yeah. nights, some of the best times. And then, I want to say, beginning of second year, like, she's cute. The first month, Feb. Feb was cute. <laughs> Feb was cute. 19 going on 20 was horrid. It was, it was the worst. It was disgusting. The worst. Why? I saw Why? this person on TikTok say, this year was so amazing. If I could relive it, I would. I was just like, what? Like, are we in the same? I was like, what? If I could delete this year from my memory. the amount And of- I wouldn't even second guess it, hey. <gasps> Quickly. <laughs> Quickly. If someone was like, no, you can delete. But then the only issue is you delete people that you've met. Yeah. All of you. It's for the best. We'll find we'll find our ways back to each yes. other. If really we meant for each other, we'll find our ways back. Yeah, but second year. Mm-mm. Second year sucked. Second year is what it it will bring back the. It's it's. It's the year I will remember in university. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. But next year's third year. <laughs> yeah, I'm not ready for that. I will say that like emotionally and romantically, second year was also one of the worst. Like we just said and. I think from that I'm gonna learn and go into, into third year with a brand new. Oh, because I'm not look. ready. Brand new, like it's yeah, yeah. Keep an eye out for me. It's time for a whole revamp. It's time to redo the way you dress, the way you act, the music you listen to. It's time to bring in the C U N T that RuPaul truly wanted us to. It's do. it's woo. By Rihanna. That's what third year is. That's the theme song. Is it woo? Oh, it's woo. Thank you so much for watching, guys. 
thank you so much for watching i hope you guys found this episode entertaining i think it was i think it was i think it was juicy it was a little bit messy it was a bit not messy to the for 500 guys i said that i said are the love of my lives hit me up um yeah that was all right i can't wait to see you guys in the next one um yeah thank you so much thank you so so much i'm glad to be back more episodes coming soon so now what are your ads where can they find you my instagram will obviously be linked down below or on screen yes. somewhere um but it's my name and it's your finsta yeah bye <laughs>